Hey Cats, it's Ed Bargain Bud here for you with the best running shoe bargains for April 2024. Loads of discount deals right now. Let's get straight to it. Thanks for tuning in people, it's always appreciated. Help to support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. It's free of charge, don't you know? Also give this video a thumbs up like and drop us a comment to help out with the algorithm. As always, danke schön. Best running shoe deals for April 2024. I'm recording this like on the 3rd of April, so get in there quick if you do spot a deal. Sometimes it's very limited sizing on some of these selections. Sportshoes.com, first off here in the UK, they've got a 15% off almost everything over the Easter period. You have to enter the code EASTER15 and that grants you the 15% off. I do believe it's on models that are within the spring, summer 24 kind of category. You can even use it on brand new stuff like the Hoka Skyward X. I've just picked up a pair of those. Hopefully they should be here today. I got a size warm out off those from 185 down to 158. Just cushions the blow somewhat. No pun intended. The Takumi Sen 10 can be had for as little as £145 with that code. I think it stops working on April the 7th at 11.59pm. I don't think you can stack these codes up either with other discounts, so just be aware of that. And you can't use it on tech, watches and so forth on the site, so it still makes for some pretty decent discounts. Get in there. Moving on over at Start Fitness, they have similar deals with a code EASTER10. I think this may expire very soon so do get in quick it does still seem to be working on the 3rd of april in the morning so just to make you aware the puma velocity nitro 3 can be had for just under 100 quid with this code there's a variety of different colorways on those i think they even bundle in the free socks as well so you really can't lose perhaps if you're starting out and you want a great shoe that's just going to get you out there and start getting your fitness together the velocity nitro 3 from puma is ideal great value daily shoe it's not too heavy in weight and it will help you traverse the rigors of a uk summer which out there now is rather gray and rather damp with this discount for 121 quid you can get the superb Sockney ride 17 lots of cushion there a great longer run option if you don't want to drop the largest sum of money on the Triumph 21, that's 150 at discount. Still pretty pricey, really, for a shoe of that type. I love the Power Run Plus foam inside the Ride 17. And you've also got it in the insole as well. So can you do that quite often with their running shoe models right now, utilizing the same type of foam in the midsole and insole. I really like the outsole on the current Saucony models too. They've really improved those for the tail end of 2023 and early 24. Outsole's kind of a thing that separates the great shoes from the also rans in the grime of the uk it really does sort out of the wheat from the chaff we have sports direct next mike ashley's fitness army on hand with the big mugs but also the big deals only 63 pounds 50 for the pegasus 40 from nike in some colorways though limited sizing in a few other colorways there's a little bit more of a selection of sizes available though it is quite limited i think this is still a top deal though in all fairness for a good daily shoe complete with those dual zoom airbags in the forefoot and heel and some top-notch waffle lugs on the outsole that may mean a lot to you or it may not mean an awful lot at all again i'm talking grip here you want some really decent stuff underfoot and the pegasus 40 has that a great option for most really one of those shoes that can get you into running again if you're a new recruit or even good if you're a seasoned enthusiast. And Stephen C, I can tell you're an enthusiast. Asics Outlet here in the UK has the best version of the Gemini Nimbus 25 available in most women's sizes at a big discount. That shoe's coming in at £126 now, down from the retail of £180, though this is the trail version which has an improved outsole layout and a rubber amount. I found that that was a key area in the Gemini Nimbus 25 that needed improving. This has got a much better outsole. The trail one really sort of took the shoe to the next level. The cushion on offer in the Nimbus 25 and the newer 26 is superb. Though dense, it presents a really pleasant feel for those easy and recovery type runs. I think if you're a heavier set runner and you want that maximum level of protection underfoot, then the Gel Nimbus 25 can do the business. It doesn't have those stability issues that are inherent within certain other very squashy max cushion models. Over at the A6 outlet in the UK right now. I think there is a men's version as well, though sizing again is a little bit more sporadic on that one. 
round about the same price, still available as of the time of making this video. Hands down, one of the best models on the market in terms of longevity and durability is the Puma Deviate Nitro 2. This has a bunch of the Nitro Elite foam in the midsole as per Puma's top tier shoes, but also a whole load of grip on the outsole. This one's going to last you for miles and miles. Now, this may be a plated shoe, but I found that you could practically use it for anything really. Easy daily runs or longer runs with some faster paced sections in there. And at a price of just under £100 here in the UK at Start Fitness, in a whole bunch of different colorways, it's absolutely worth a look. Stable yet cushioned and a really nice long run option with padding in the areas where it counts and midsole only in the places where you really need it rather than it sort of cupping all the way around the foot too much. I think this Puma is one of the unsung options really. People are a little bit hesitant really to pick Puma products up here, certainly running products anyway in the UK. I've no idea why they're equal or better than some of the other more easy to obtain options. This is the kind of shoe that people need to pick up to realise that the brand is right up there in terms of their tech. And at this price and value, in terms of the performance level you get as well, it's a no-brainer. Lots of these available right now at Start Fitness. There's a couple of pairs of the Invincible Run 3 over at End Clothing. Limited sizing here though in the Armoury Navy and Black version. I love the brown outsole rubber on this one. Really does sort of add the icing to the cake even though it's on the bottom the invincible run 3 is fantastic for easy or recovery type efforts due to the cushion available from that zoom x foam but it also makes for a really great long run option too with that nice plush upper and it's one of those you really need to add into the rotation if you're marathon training end clothing typically do high level basketball shoes and fashion items and are a good place to check out for some overlooked running shoes here and there. This one's down to £114 from that £175 retail price. That's a great saving and delivery is normally pretty fast too from End Clothing. What else have they got? Racer Blue and High Voltage Pegasus Turbo Next Nature pairs. Only limited sizing again but at £87 down from £145 it makes for a really good discount. If these shoes work for you, then best time to pick up a pair really. There's lots of discounts right now. It wasn't a standout option for me personally, but I've heard from loads of viewers who absolutely love the Pegasus Turbo Next Nature. They really enjoy the low weight and the durability of the shoe. And the fact you can kind of use it as a sort of everyday lifestyle model too. End Clothing have a few pairs of the Infinity Run Flyknit 4 as well, down to around about £100, making for a reasonable saving. But still the best deal right now at this point in April is over at Start Fitness, the Adidas Adi Zero Prime X original there, down to £149 from that 249 retail price. There's quite a good size run of these as well available. No idea why people aren't picking these up. It's an absolute banger. If you want something that's super max cushioned for your training, then the Primex will do it. If you're a neutral runner, Without the need for stability, then this Adi Zero model is worth a try purely for the fun factor. I absolutely love the midsole on that Prime X model. Just keep to the straight roads and minimise the tight turns. Slow down on the cornering, okay? I think if the Easter code still works as well, you can get these even cheaper. That makes it like £134 for the Prime X, which is just crazy for a shoe of this calibre. Okay, that's all my deals for the start of April 2024. Let me know if you've spotted any fantastic running shoe bargains down in the comments. Also, just give us a comment anyway, or even a super thanks if this video has helped you out. Thank you. Very quick musical interlude for you. There's a band that's just stuck in my head permanently at the moment. Whatever I'm doing, whether I'm just wandering about town, whether I'm running, whether I'm editing a video, Cheek Face just never leaves my head. I love their song Life in a Bag. It's got a fantastic video as well that you really need to check out. The band arrive at this sort of silent disco, everybody's wearing headphones and they just keep getting ignored basically. <laughs> I just love the fact that the band seems so down to earth that they're producing some absolutely fantastic music. Love the guitar sounds here, they're choppy and they're trebly and precise, but there's a whole range of really cool percussion that's been added to the recording recordings 
that just gives it this really nice character, this sort of seasoning and spice to the music. And the lyrics are always really interesting within cheek face tunes. Once you've heard some of these, they will never leave your head, I'm telling you now. Go check out their most recent album called It's Sorted, but my favourite track right now has got to be Life in a Bag from Cheekface. Thanks for tuning in people, it's always appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you 